Millennials, maximize your savings with these top 10 tips. Did you know that millennials, on average, spend more than $2,300 per year on coffee alone? That's enough to fund a round trip to Europe. If the fact just made you rethink your spending habits, then you're in the right place. Because today we're talking about the top 10 money saving tips for millennials in 2024. Yes, even in this economy. So without wasting any time, let's start things off with our first tip. Automate your savings. It's pretty simple yet effective. Automating your savings means setting up a system where a certain amount of money is automatically transferred from your checking account to your savings account on a regular basis. Now, why is this important? Well, it's easy to forget or avoid putting money into savings. But if it's automated, you don't even have to think about it. It's a set it and forget it kind of deal. And the best part is that you can start with just a small amount. Even saving a little bit consistently can add up over time. Think about it this way. If you just save $5 a day, that's $150 a month. In a year, you'll have saved $1,800. Now, imagine if that money is going into a high yield savings account or an investment account. Your money could be growing while you sleep. Moving on to tip number two, pay off your debt strategically. We all know debt can feel like a heavy weight on your shoulders especially for us millennials. But good news is that there are actual strategies to tackle this. One popular method is the avalanche method, where you pay off debts with the highest interest rates first. This can save you a lot of money in the long run. It's like you make the minimum payments on all your debts, but then you put in any extra money towards the debt with the highest interest rate. Once that debt is paid off, you move on to the debt with the next highest interest rate, and so on. Another method is the snowball method, where you pay off the smallest debts first to gain momentum. This can be a great strategy if you need the psychological boost of paying off a debt in full. So, take some time to review your debts, interest rates, and monthly payments. Then, choose a strategy that works best for you. All right, tip number three is a real game changer. Cancel unused subscriptions. You'd be surprised at how many of us are paying for subscriptions we don't even use. Think about it. The gym membership you haven't used in six months, the magazine you never have time to read, or that streaming service you signed up for just to watch one show. These can add up and drain your wallet without you even realizing it. The first step is to review your bank statements. Look for any reoccurring charges and ask yourself, Am I really using this? If the answer is no, well, my friend, then it's time to hit that cancel button. And if you have so many subscriptions that you can't keep track, there are apps out there that can help. These apps can identify your subscriptions, keep track of your spending, and even cancel subscriptions for you. Next up, tip number four, cut down on takeout expenses. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good takeout meal as much as the next person. But eating out frequently can really eat into your savings. Let's do some quick math. Say you spend $10 on takeout for lunch every weekday. That's $50 a week, $200 a month, and $2,400 a year. Now imagine if you put that money into savings or investments instead. One solution is to start cooking at home. It's cheaper, healthier, and can be a lot of fun. Plus, there are tons of easy and budget-friendly recipes online. And if you're not a fan of cooking, there are other options, like trying meal prepping on the weekends, or looking for healthy and affordable pre-made meals at your local grocery store. Tip number five is all about being smart with your money. Eliminate unnecessary finance fees. They can come in many forms, like ATM fees, credit card fees, late payment fees, or account maintenance fees. These might seem small, but they can add up over time and eat into your savings. Make sure you read the fine print when you sign up for a bank account or credit card. Know what fees are associated with your accounts and how you can avoid them. 
For example, some banks charge a fee if your account balance falls below a certain amount. If that's the case, try to keep your balance above that amount. Or better yet, look for a bank that doesn't charge this fee. Another common fee is the ATM fee. This is when you use an ATM that's not in your bank's network. To avoid this, try to use your bank's ATM whenever possible. Or consider switching to a bank that has a larger ATM network or reimburse ATM fees. Moving on to tip number six. Switch to a high yield savings account. Unlike regular savings accounts, high yield accounts offer a higher interest rate. This means your money grows faster over time. If you want to choose a high yield savings account, first of all, look at the interest rate. Obviously, the higher the rate, the faster your money will grow. But don't stop there. Also consider the bank's reputation, customer service, and any associated fees like we just said. And yeah, keep in mind, just because you have a high yield savings account doesn't mean you should let your money sit there forever. Consider it a temporary holding place while you decide on longer term investments. After all, the goal is to make your money work for you. Next up, tip number seven is a fun one. Gamify money management. We all know that managing money can be a bit, well, boring. But what if we could turn it into a game? What if every dollar saved or debt paid off was a point scored? Suddenly, managing money becomes a lot more interesting. There are tons of apps out there that can help you do this. These apps can turn saving money into a game, complete with rewards, levels, and challenges. It's a great way to make managing your finances fun and rewarding. So why not give it a try? Turn saving money into a game and see how much you can score. Moving on to tip number eight, search for cheap entertainment. We all love a good night out or a trip to the movies, don't we? But reality check is that these things can be quite expensive. So what if we could find entertainment that's just as fun, but a lot cheaper? The good news is there are plenty of options out there from local events to online resources. There's always something fun to do that won't empty your wallet. What about a picnic in the park? All you need is some food, a blanket, and good company. There are tons of free or cheap online courses, webinars, and workshops. You can learn a new skill, pick up a new hobby, or even start a side hustle. Tip number nine is not only good for your wallet, but also for the planet. Save energy. This one's pretty simple. You can turn off the lights when you leave a room, unplug electronics when they're not in use, or use energy efficient appliances. Most of us already do this, don't we? These might seem like small changes, but they can lead to significant savings over time. And you're also reducing your carbon footprint and helping in combat climate change. So it's a win-win situation. Finally, tip number 10, and the last one for today, use a cashback site. These sites give you cash back for purchases you are going to make anyway. If you don't know how it works, you sign up for a cash back site and browse through their list of retailers. When you find a retailer you want to shop with, you click through to their site from the cash back site. Then you shop as normal. After you make a purchase, a percentage of what you spent is credited back to your account on the cash back site. There are literally many cashback sites out there, so it's worth doing some research to find the best one for you. Look for a site that has a wide range of retailers and a high cashback rate. Well, that is it for today, our top 10 money saving tips for millennials in 2024. So which of these tips did you find most helpful? Do you have any money saving tips of your own that you would like to share? Drop your comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check our recent video on 10 shocking things that turn ordinary people into entrepreneurs in 2024. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.